Welcome to Birds of a Feather. Today we're going to be doing some string art. What I have here is just an outline of our sweet little Brittany. And I've got an awl that I'm going to use to poke holes in. Got some brad nails. Now these might be too short, but I'm going to give them a try. Got a little dog bone here. I've got some electrical wiring that I'm going to bend into the shape of this heart. So let's just clear this off. And I'm going to position this over my board. Now, I was going to do it this way. This is a doghouse shape, but it doesn't fit. So once you have her on there the way you want it, you're just going to tape it down so nothing can shift. And you're just going to go around in that manner so that you know where your holes are here. Now everything's pre-punched and I'm just going to bend this wire into the shape of the heart here. That should be good. So we're going to set this aside. Now we can lift our pattern. And as you can see, you've got the outline there, but you're going to keep this handy. Just in case. So now we're going to give these nails a try. So what I'm using to help me here is just a pair of tweezers. It's going to help me steady it. Now I'm going to knock it in to the level of the other one here. That's in there pretty good. And that's how it's looking. So I'm going to go ahead and complete all these holes. Once I'm almost at the halfway point around the top here, I'm going to fill in the heart in the middle and also the dog collar here. And for the heart, I'm using these taller three quarter inch nails. So I used half an inch around the edges and the middle is going to be just a little bit taller because I want to build that up more. So again, I'm going to position this, hold it straight up and down. Make sure your fingers are away from where you're hammering. And then just sort of eyeball it and make sure that you're consistent with the one that's right beside it. And I see I just have a little bit to go. And that's looking pretty good. So I'm going to continue filling in, like I said, the middle here and then all the way around the edges and then we're going to be ready for string. The heart is now done. And now I'm moving on to the collar. Working on the collar, nail in the hole that is the furthest away from you first. So that would be this one, and then move your way back. And then again, furthest away and move back. Keep going like that so that you can actually get in there with your tweezers. When you get to a part like this ear, for instance, where there's this curve into the head, you want to start at the furthermost point away from you and then work your way back to this point and then continue on down. When you're installing your nails and you find that it's not quite straight up and down, I'm just taking this clothes peg here and it has a lot of different surfaces. I've got a rounded one here, I've got straight surface here. You just position it and pull back to straighten. And there you go, you can see it's nice and straight now. So we've come to a point again where we've got interior um, nails to install. 
So instead of continuing around the outside, you're going to go to a point that's the furthest away and work your way back. And that's so that you can get into it. Otherwise it's not going to be accessible. If you have nails here and you're trying to get into this section, it's going to be close to impossible to maneuver this tweezer here to hold it. So, always keep that in mind as you're coming around to work on the interior first and work your way out when you get to that. So position your nail. Lock it in. Now if it's a little crooked here, you're just going to bring it back. And I'm using the height of this as a guide to knock them in. Hope you can see that. It's just sticking up just a touch. Take it off. See how it's positioned. And again, it's just a little crooked, so I'm going to bring it back. And there you have it. So I'm going to continue on the exterior, then the inside and the outside, zigzagging back and forth so that I can get the inside done and come around the perimeter. As we're getting down to the pause here, I'm coming across, so I'm starting on the right hand side and I'm working my way left, and then I'm coming forward. So as I finish this row, I'm coming back to the right and working left. And then we're going to complete down here, and then we're going to be done. I'll be using these dollar store mini yarns when it comes time to string the artwork. And I'll be using this hot pink, black, and red. I also want to mention that I spelled out Brittany's name. I have to paint those. I'm going to put, be putting that on. And the heart is now cut too. If you're nailing and you realize that there's a hole that you don't need, you can just take one of these putty sticks, and these are used um, typically for baseboards when you're pin nailing, and you're just going to rub it. Actually, I can't get in there now because that nail is in the way. So what you wanna do is just slice a piece off with an X-Acto blade and just get it right in there. Okay, now that's really all you need. Just gonna put it right on there and just push it in. I think what I'll you do is use the other end. This is the other end of the tool I'm using to nail. Just give it a wipe with a soft cloth. And there you go. That nail hole is now gone. To paint the letters, I'm going to be attaching them onto this paint stick. It just makes it so much easier. So I'm just going to roll out this piece of masking tape here. I'm placing it sticky side up. And I'm going to tear off two more pieces. Place them on either end. And once that's secure, I can attach my letters. And then when I brush them with the paint, they're not going to go anywhere. It's going to stay perfectly put and it's not fiddly in the least. stuck down. Now I can paint these letters and get them onto our board. Since Brittany's name is spelled out with seven letters, I've got a rainbow of colors here and I'm just going to start with the first one which is red. I've got my stick set up here and the letters are stuck down onto a piece of masking tape which I put on this uh, paint stick sticky side up. So it's just a matter of dipping into the paint 
and brushing it on. And as you can see, it stays perfectly put. And there you go. So I'm going to continue on with the rest of the colors and let this dry and then we'll be able to mount it onto our board. Before we move on to applying the string to our string art, I'm just going to make myself a little dog bone here to embellish. Just going to take a piece of tape here, stick that onto a piece of drink can. It's gold color just the same as this dog bone. I want to imitate this milk bone dog tag. So now that's stuck down and I'm going to cut around it with some scissors. If you like when you're done you can take some sandpaper to any sharp edges and we're just going to peel this off. And we have our, our little dog bone tag right here. We're ready to start stringing and I've got these dollar store mini yarns. I'm going to be using the red of course for the heart, pink for the collar, and black for the dog. So I'm going to attempt to find the end in the middle of the roll here so that it's easy to string it along. Okay so I did find the end and I'm just going to unroll it here, set these aside. I'm just going to tie a knot, make sure I have a big enough end here. Just tying it onto the middle. And you're going to want to double knot it and then I'm also going to glue it, but I'll do that after when it's done. Okay, so that should be good enough. Just going to go back and forth. I'm not going to go any further than the top of the collar here. Now you just want to eyeball and make sure that every nail has some string on it. So I'm going to come back and then I'm going to outline the perimeter. If it loosens off on you, just be sure that you're holding it as you go. So what I'm doing here is I'm going counterclockwise. As you can see, that's outlining it nicely. Now, if you feel that you don't have enough thread, you can always go back over it again. You can do as much or as little as you like. It gets a little tricky where it's closer together, so you just have to be really patient with it. And just take your time. Now I'm going to continue with the lower half of the dog here, so I'm actually going to back off. I'm just going to zigzag across. Now keep in mind that the heart is taller than the rest of it, so you can lower it to the same level as your other pins because we're going to continue with red. So 
So here's what I have so far. I'm now starting on the lower half of the dog. We've got the heart area free and clear. We're going to do that later. And we're going to come down here and do the paws. Okay, I'm pretty happy with how that's looking, so I think I'm going to go back up to the tail because I forgot this tip here. So I'm just going to make my way back up there. Try not to split your yarn as you come past the nails here. As you come around, just hold it down with your finger so that it can't back off. I split that so I'm just backing it off. Now if you find there's not enough space left just push it down a little and that can help you get it onto the nail head. And again try not to split your yarn if you notice it's splitting just back it off. See how the outline nicely finishes it? It really does emphasize the shape. If you're noticing anything you want to fill in as you're doing this, you can do so. I'm just going to come up here and zigzag back down. So we're just going to knot it. Okay, so that I'm going to tie off a little bit better and glue it as well as this end. We'll do that after. 
Okay, so I've just tied off to start the heart and I've got some Elmer's glue here. I've just got a tiny bit in this lid. And I'm just going to scoop it up. You can use a toothpick, but I've just got a nail here. I'm just going to saturate it. so it can't come undone. So I'm just gonna take the time to do the other ones here so that they can dry and then I can snip this off. Get a little more glue. Do the other one. Just got to get a touch more glue here. And this will dry clear, so don't worry about that. Okay, so that's done. I'm just going to snip that off. And then I'll just zigzag the heart as I did the rest of the dog. Okay, so I think that's looking pretty good. So again, we're going to outline it. I'm coming counterclockwise all the way around the nail heads. Honestly, you know, it doesn't really take much string at all. Okay, heart's done. I'm going to tie this off, and then we're going to complete the collar. Oh, so I just realized I used the pink for the heart, and I should have used the red. So, I might just reverse these two. Not quite sure. Or can just undo it. We'll see what I do. I've put a double loop of chain on the um, dog bone tag here and we're just going to pop it over one of the nail heads before we continue and complete the collar. The last step is the collar and we're going to add this dog tag. So I'm just going to place it over one of the nails so that it hangs. And then when we pass by it with the string, it's going to seal it right in. Let's just do the zigzags. Now I'm going to go counterclockwise and that will lock the dog tag into place and it'll also outline the collar.
Okay, I'm going to end there. I'm going to knot it off and then glue and cut it. And we're going to put down these letters and probably put a hook on. So let's just stop it there. The letters are now dry and I'm just putting some glue on the back. Just using this same nail just to brush it on. Just make sure you spread it out thin so it doesn't ooze out. Okay, then I've got a piece of cardboard down just to provide a straight edge here. Just ensure it's level with that edge of the paper. Last one. Now I just need some sort of a um, little staple or pin here to hold this second heart. I've got the dog tag here. It's starting to look really good. And the last step is to screw on this hook. And that's to hold the leash. Along with the leash, because there's two hooks here, I'm gonna provide something that'll go on the bottom hook here. So I'm gonna let this dry and then I can lift the cardboard and move on with final steps.